Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 31st, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to provide you with a bit of an update on an issue that we talked about last week, primarily being that ridge extension and warm air invasion of the Beaufort Sea might help to accelerate sea ice loss this week, and that appears to be what has happened. Now, this map is a, is a temperature map for today. It's a GFS model map for 00 Zulu hour on Tuesday, so today. And what it shows is a extension of, of extreme heat running from the U.S. West on northward into the North American West and flooding in over the Beaufort Sea. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to an anomaly map to show you departures from normal in this model. And as we can see, temperatures across the North American West, particularly from Northern California on through British Columbia and up toward coastal Alaska and coastal Canada along the shores of the Arctic Ocean are much warmer than normal. If you pay attention to the temperature bar at the bottom of the map, the, the readings that we see in the orange to red are between around 3 to up to around 15 degrees Celsius above typical temperatures for this region of the world at this time of year. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at a, a zoom in of last night temperatures along the Arctic Ocean and particularly along the Beaufort Sea. And, and here in the McKinsey Delta region of the Northwest Territory of Canada, we see temperatures near 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius, which is extraordinarily warm for, for the shores of the Arctic Ocean. And also in northern Alaska, we see temperatures near the coastline in the upper 70s or around 23 degrees Celsius, which is also very warm. Now moving out over the water and over the ice, the typically ice-filled regions, we find temperatures much closer to freezing, but it's worth noting that, that any temperature departure significantly or even, even just a few degrees above freezing is, is very significant for the Arctic Ocean as much of the energy is, is going to, to melting ice. And that's, that's a high energy, a highly in energy intensive process. So, but these, these two to three to even six or seven degrees Celsius uh, region, um, temperatures over this region of the Arctic Ocean, over the Beaufort Sea, are, are warmer than normal in the range of about one to four degrees Celsius above average for this time of year. And also note that the temperatures over the, the Chukchi Sea here are much warmer than normal getting up to around the 10 degrees Celsius range. So, so these warmer than normal temperatures and these warm winds coming in off of Alaska and coming up through the Chukchi here in association with a, with a storm system have, have been tending to, to pound the sea ice over recent days. And, and Zachary Labe, who's, who's one of our uh, top Arctic observers, has put together a composite map of, of satellite imagery that, that picks up sea ice in the Beaufort sector. And as you notice in the more recent frames, the sea ice has, has rapidly cleared out in large sections of the Beaufort. So we, we have seen an accelerated melt signal due to the warm winds coming in off of this, this extraordinary ridge and extraordinary warm temperatures, hot temperatures that have run, been running in through Western North America. And this does appear to be impacting the sea ice. And just to note that this is a signal of human caused climate change, increased warm air invasions in the Arctic 
particularly during winter time, but but we have we have been seeing uh, some warm air invasions of the Arctic in the, in the Arctic Ocean zone in summertime is a signal of human caused climate change and is a result of of human carbon emissions, particularly fossil fuel burning, which is a primary driver of the crisis. And what we are seeing is, is the potential for, for continued sea ice losses as the earth warms. And, and sea ice is, is a major global climate stabilizer. So if you lose the sea ice, you can end up with a lot more weather instability and a lot more extreme weather and a lot more impact to typical seasonality that we all rely on. So, so this is, is something that, that we need to watch and, and we need to pay attention to. And for this year, it, it does look like sea ice impacts are, are considerable, but we are presently for the whole Arctic, not in, in record low ranges for summer, although we are in the top four to five record low range for, for sea ice extent. And, th and this does have an impact on, on global weather and particularly Northern hemisphere weather. So, so something that we need to keep an eye on. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.